Hello everybody, welcome back to Healthy Kitchen 101 and to another product review. I'm Bê Nguyễn and today we are looking at one of the most popular garbage disposal of all time. The Incinerator Batcher 5. The Incinerator Batcher 5 is a continuous feed garbage disposal designed for tight cabinet spaces in small homes. It is sort of known as the standard garbage disposal or an entry-level disposal among enthusiasts. The main reason is because it doesn't cost a lot of money, but it can last a long time. Just to give you an idea of what types of specs the disposal is running on, it is powered by an AC induction motor with one and a half horsepower. It's very compact, only 11 and a half inch tall, and it weights roughly 12 pounds. Its grinding chamber is relatively spacious, up to 26 ounces of holding capacity, according to the website. And all the functional parts inside the chamber, namely the impellers, the flywheel, and the gratering are galvanized steel. The body casing is mostly metal. It's durable and tough, which protects the core machinery very well. But it's also why the Batcher 5 is the heaviest unit in the one and a half horsepower category. But that's enough about gears and such. What about the disposal actual performance? In other words, how well does the Incinerator Batcher 5 grind? To answer that, we're going to put the grinder through three different tests. Each is designed to highlight the disposal strengths and weaknesses in certain situations. In the first test, called the Scrap Mix test, we're going to see how it deals with randomly but commonly found kitchen scraps the disposal will be processing 11 different types of food or ingredients ranging from eggshells, fruit slices, to avocado pits and cooked fish scraps. The next two tests are more challenging as they are meant to highlight a grinder's ability to process uncooked meat scraps, especially the bone. More specifically, we aim to highlight how the Batcher 5 handles uncooked hollow bones in the raw chicken scrap test and how it would manage even trickier materials in the raw fish scrap tests. The equipment used in the test includes, but is not limited to, a stopwatch to keep track of how long the disposal takes to finish a specific task, a uh, sound level meter for readings regarding the machine's noise profile, a scale to weight the output, and two colanders with differently sized holes so we can categorize the output. We'll be running all three tests on this uh, standalone steel sink. This has no walls nor does it attach to a kitchen counter. This is our test lab after all. So the conditions are a little different from they would be in a real home kitchen. Now let's see how the Incinerator Batcher 5 fares in our curated tests. The first test is the scrap mix test. In this test, the disposal will take no longer than 4 minutes to process 90 ounces worth of food scraps with 11 different ingredients in the mix. You can see there are celery, corn cobs, avocado pits, cooked chicken bones, among other things. There are cooked salmon scraps as well. Before starting the test, we stir everything up the best we could. Doing this helps create a more realistic load of garbage and second, to ensure that we are not prioritizing anything by accident. Normally, we would remove the sink baffle or the splash guard to improve the overall flow. But the Batcher 5 has a splash guard that doubles as a cushioning piece so that it's fixed in place. You can see that we have to feed the materials to the disposal. We try to use the least amount of force and leave the majority of the work to the machine. Another thing that we do to ensure comparable results is set aside one piece of the chicken bones and one piece of the lemon so that they are the last pieces to enter the grinding chamber. Around the three minute mark, the disposal is about done. So we stop the timer to check inside and see that there's still a chunk of lemon peel remaining. We give the disposal a little more time 
but there's not much more it can do at this point. To assess the Bachelor 5's ability to process heavy loads of random foods, we take into account the time the disposal takes to finish the task and how fine the output is. The Bachelor 5 finishes close to the 4 minute mark, which is very slow in comparison to models in the same price range. For that, the Bachelor 5 scores only 2 points out of 10 for time. Next, using the two colanders, we categorize and weight the output as layer 1 and layer 2. With the first colander capturing the large pieces and the second colander the smaller pieces. Although the batch of 5's input to output ratio meets our set criteria, its layer 1 takes up roughly 15% of the output and layer 2 24%. Respectively, these results translate to 3.1 points for layer 1 and 5.4 points for layer 2. The percentage of sizable bits in the output, which is close to 39%, suggests that the disposal won't do as well as others in terms of avoiding clocks. Coupled with the slow processing time, the incinerator Bachelor 5 averaged only 3.2 out of 10 points for this category. The second test is the raw fish scrap test. The first of the two challenge tests focus on how the garbage disposal handles materials from raw salmon remains. Although the Bachelor 5 is not designed for such a task, pushing the product to certain limits provides invaluable insights. The disposal will take no longer than 3 minutes to process 49 ounces worth of scrap fish bones, skin, and fins. Similarly to how we prepare for the scrap meat test, we first chop everything into chunks that will fit easily through the sink drain. When grinding tough materials, we keep the buckle piece in place to keep projectiles from flying out. You can see that we prioritize the fin and skin parts because from experience, they take the longest to pulverize. Next go the chunks of spine and bones. This is also to exploit the rugged and sharp bone tissue to shred the soft tissues in the mix. We continuously feed the scraps to the disposal until the chamber appears full up. If not, we keep on feeding without forcing so that the disposal is working at capacity. Close to the one minute mark, the incinerator Bachelor 5 comes to a halt due to overheating. The Bachelor 5 is one of the only two models to have ever overheated during our evaluation process. We move to unjam the disposal via the socket under the machine and wait for a minute or two for its motor to cool down. Then we resume the test until it finishes at the 3 minute mark. To assess the Bachelor 5's capability in this test, we evaluate the input to output ratio and the quality of output. After the run, there is roughly 8.5 ounces of leftovers inside the grinding chamber, which is more than 17% of the input. Taking a closer look at the materials, the disposal couldn't process the fish vertebrae to the fullest. There are broken chunks of fish tail as well, which still has a long way to becoming food particles. These results do not meet our set necessary conditions for the evaluation process. As a result, the incinerator Bachelor 5 failed the raw fish scrap test and is decidedly deemed incapable of such a difficult task. The final test is the raw chicken scrap test. In this test, we will highlight how the garbage disposal handles raw hollow bones. More specifically, how it breaks them down and how it processes slippery materials. In this test, the disposal will take no more than 3 minutes to grind 4 sets of bones from chicken thighs, which is roughly 7 ounces in total. You can see that when there's not enough room in the chamber, tough and long scraps like these bones will be pushed out. However, the bone sets quickly find enough room below the sink level as the disposal breaks up the bony part. This is partly thanks to the Bachelor 5's relatively large holding capacity. Other models with tighter grinding chambers have a much tougher time keeping the bones under the drain baffle in this test. At this point, we wait for the disposal to finish the test and pay close attention to the noise the grinder makes to determine when to stop the timer and check on the progress. 
If the amount of materials in the chamber is low enough to meet our criteria, the run is finished. In the case of the Batcher 5, it needs all 3 minutes to manage the task. Similarly to how things go in the other tests, we take into account how long the disposal takes to finish its input to output ratio and its quality of output to assess the Batcher 5's capability. Unfortunately, the amount of leftovers inside the chamber is too great, more than 25% of the input. Judging from the collected materials, it seems that the Batcher 5 does quite well in terms of crushing the hollow and brittle chicken bones. But the main issue lies in getting a hold of the pieces of cartilage and shredding them down. It's possible that they are too slippery for the Batcher 5 grinding assembly. As a result, the disposal failed the raw chicken scrap test, which makes it decidedly incapable of such a task. In summary, the Batcher 5 can process raw meat scraps, which is understandable, but it is also limited in the types of scraps that it can grind effectively. One prominent example would be lemon peels, especially when the amounts are too great or the pieces are not cut small enough. For these reasons, the Batcher 5 averages only 1.6 out of 10 points for grinding performance, the second lowest performance scores from our lineup of 20 different models. We're very conflicted about the Incinerator Batcher 5 for several reasons. On one hand, it's a very well-built product with a rugged construction and its durability is well established on the market. On the other hand, the disposal grinding power is mediocre at best when put next to other models of similar prices. It can be inferred from our accumulated data. It's because of the slow paced motor and the basic grinder layout that the disposal failed to perform on par with its peers. The disposal does enjoy the benefits of external unjammed mechanics and a comfortable chamber, but those alone simply can compensate for its underwhelming performance. With all things considered, the Incinerator Batcher 5 scores 4 out of 10 points overall and is currently ranked 19th in our chart. We recommend the disposal only for small homes with no more than two people who rarely cook and don't produce much food waste daily. And that's it for today's product review. There are more details of our evaluation procedures and more in-depth reviews on our website if you're interested. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, consider liking and subscribing to our channel. And let us know in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions for us. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video right here on Healthy Kitchen 101.